This is Hobbs W-1, a service robot created by Noidix Robotics. Hobbs W-1 doesn't walk on two legs. It rolls smoothly on wheels. But that's not what makes it interesting. What stands out immediately is the head, realistic in a way you don't expect. Hobbs W-1 features a highly realistic human-like head wrapped in soft synthetic skin. Hobbs W-1 robot can make facial expressions. We're talking genuine smiles, natural blinking, even eyebrow movements and react instantly during conversations. When someone speaks, the head gently turns. When someone pauses or reacts, Hobbs W1 responds in return. Noidix made a smart choice here. They didn't go for the cartoon look or try to make it super cute. They also didn't try to make it look exactly like a real person. Instead, Noidix chose a middle ground. The robot is expressive enough to feel familiar, but still clearly a machine. That balance helps people feel comfortable, not uneasy. For the first time, a service robot doesn't feel like a tool. It feels like something that's present. Now let's talk about what this robot actually does. Noidix didn't design Hobbs W1 for heavy lifting in warehouses or working on factory floors. This is a people-focused robot. Places where talking to people is more important than moving heavy boxes. The robot includes a chest-mounted touchscreen, lightweight robotic arms for simple tasks, and smooth indoor navigation. It can welcome guests, give directions, deliver small items, and even operate elevator buttons. But tasks aren't what make Hobbs W1 different. Interactionists. Hobbs W1 uses AI to read facial expressions, voice tone, and speech patterns. If a person seems tense, the robot adjusts its expression. If someone sounds upbeat, the response becomes warmer. This isn't real emotion, but it is emotional awareness. And that's a big shift. Most service robots focus on being correct. Hobbs W1 focuses on making people feel comfortable. Online viewers quickly notice something interesting. Hobbs W1 closely resembles a well-known Chinese influencer, Dali Ocean, who is famous for robotic-style movements and an anime-inspired look. That similarity wasn't accidental. Noidix wanted Hobbs W1 to sit right between human familiarity and futuristic design. Not perfect realism, approachability. Inside, Hobbs W1 runs powerful local computing. Conversations are processed directly on the robot, without relying on constant internet access. That means faster responses and more reliability in places where Wi-Fi can be unstable. This is exactly why hotels are paying attention. Businesses value consistency. Hobbs W1 never gets tired, never loses patience, and never has a bad day. Every guest gets the same calm, polite experience, every time. Research already shows that many travelers are comfortable interacting with robots, and in some cases, they even prefer them. Consistency builds trust, and robots are very good at consistency. Still, Human-like robots make some people uneasy. That feeling is known as the uncanny valley. Noidix understands this risk. That's why Hobbs W1 avoids extreme realism. Movements are smooth, expressions are gentle, and reactions feel deliberate, not random or creepy. Noidix Robotics itself is a young company based in Beijing, founded in late 2023 by engineers from top institutions like Tsinghua University and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Despite its age, the company is moving fast. Noidix has already built multiple robots, Bulmy for education, N2 for athletic motion, and now Hobbs W1 for expressive interaction. Each robot serves a different role, showing a clear long-term strategy. This isn't just a demo project either. Noidix plans to scale production to about 1,000 robots per month, supported by tens of millions of dollars in funding and new manufacturing facilities. At the same time, the global service robot market is growing rapidly, especially in hospitality and public spaces. Timing matters, and Hobbs W1 arrives at the right moment. But the biggest question remains. When a robot listens, smiles, and reacts like a human, does that change how we treat it? Some people will feel welcomed. Others will feel uncomfortable. Noidix believes the answer lies in emotional design. Robots that don't just perform tasks, but connect naturally. Hobbs W1 may be just the beginning. The company is already working on a larger humanoid robot designed for physical labor. If Hobbs W1 represents the face of Noidix, the body may be coming next. One thing is clear. The future of robotics isn't only about power or speed. It's about presence, interaction, and understanding people. So here's the question. Would you trust a robot like this as a receptionist? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you think this is wild, what comes next might surprise you even more. Remember that iron robot from Xpeng? The one that walked so naturally that people started questioning if there was actually a human inside the suit? Well, the answer to why iron moves like human and what Xpeng is really building just got revealed at the 2026 Geek Park IF Innovation Festival. And honestly, 
What he Xiaoping shared on that stage changes everything we thought we knew about where humanoid robotics is actually headed. At the Geek Park Festival, he didn't just defend his robot or show another demo. He laid out the complete strategic blueprint behind Iron, the philosophy, the engineering, the timeline, and the vision that most people completely missed when they were too busy debating whether the robot was real or fake. So let's talk about what makes Xpeng's approach fundamentally different. He Xiaoping explained the company's strategy through three core principles, and each one makes perfect sense when you really think about it. First, the world is built for humans, so iron needs to be built like a human. Every elevator button, every doorknob, every shelf, every workspace was designed for human bodies. Iron is humanoid because that's the only shape that fits seamlessly into our existing world. The robot doesn't need special ramps or custom workstations. It just works with what already exists. That's a huge advantage that wheeled robots or other body designs simply can't match. Second, human motion data becomes the ultimate training tool. Because iron's body structure mirrors human anatomy, the robot can learn directly from decades of recorded human movement. Xping doesn't have to translate human actions into weird robotic coordinates. The robot's joints, torque ranges, and body layout already match how humans move. This speeds up training dramatically and makes Iron Way more adaptable to new tasks. And third, Xping wants a robot that scales across industries, not just one niche application. Iron is designed to work in logistics, retail, manufacturing, and services without requiring hardware changes or facility redesigns. The more universal the form, the more universal the potential. Xpeng really said, no hype, just real engineering. Drop your thoughts. But here's what really caught my attention. Xpeng isn't chasing viral moments or flashy demonstrations. At the Geek Park if Festival, He Xiaoping made this crystal clear. The company is focused on practical, everyday tasks that actually matter in real environments. We're talking about carrying objects, supporting repetitive operations in stores and factories. These tasks don't look spectacular on camera, but they create genuine value. Xpeng believes the future of humanoid robotics gets shaped by usefulness, not by how many views a demo video gets online. This stands out because so many companies in this space prioritize dramatic presentations first. Xpeng deliberately avoided extraordinary stunts. Instead, the update answered one key question. How does Iron become a worker? And the answer comes from engineering and software, not theatrics. If you're into robots that actually work, hit subscribe. Now let's get into the actual robot itself. The heart of Xping's announcement was Iron's mechanical skeleton. He Xiaoping described this as essential to achieving natural and safe motion. Iron features a flexible, human-like spine built with multiple bending segments. This allows the robot to twist, stabilize, and shift weight exactly like humans do. The spine enables balance adjustments, shock absorption, and coordinated posture changes across the entire torso. Iron also includes multi-joint articulation throughout its body. Multiple axes of rotation in the hips, shoulders, elbows, wrists, and ankles enable precise, smooth actions instead of stiff, robotic movements. This articulation allows iron to fit into tight spaces and operate tools with real accuracy. And the body layout follows human proportions. This supports direct training from human movement data. Since iron's joints map closely to human joints, Xpeng can use existing data sets to teach the robot how to walk, grip, bend, balance, and coordinate motions. He Xiaoping emphasized that this design is critical for safety. Human-like motion patterns are easier for people to understand and predict, which reduces risk during collaboration. A robot that moves in familiar ways won't surprise or confuse the humans working alongside it. Then he can dove into the technical evolution, from generation one to generation two motion control. He showed Iron doing a catwalk, but this wasn't entertainment. It was about revealing the engineering breakthrough to solve heat dissipation and integration challenges. Xping studied real human anatomy down to the joints. They added rotational joints in the neck and shoulders, implemented five joints in the waist, and aligned the body frame to match human biomechanics. Only with this architecture could the robot replicate a true human gait. Most robotics teams rely on reinforcement learning, which is essentially an expanded form of imitation learning. But Xping wanted something deeper, a way for iron to move beyond copying demonstrations and start generalizing movement to new contexts. That required what he called remapping logic, a system that allows a robot with dozens of joints to achieve fluid, realistic gait patterns based on human motion datasets. The leap from generation one to generation two is about the ability to switch between state machines instantly. Generation one robots can walk. Generation 1.5 robots can walk and run, but struggle to maintain natural transitions. Generation two robots must handle full body coordination without breaking flow. When only part of the body moves correctly, 
the whole motion looks robotic. Xpeng wants whole body realism. At the center of that goal is Xpeng's internal system known as Zero Gravity Posture Control. All 70 to 80 joints across the robot's body are simulated in a virtual zero gravity environment. The robot practices authentic self-movement without the constraints of real-world balance. Once it masters posture and simulation, Xpeng overlays a deep motion planning system on top. Only then can a mass production robot achieve the full range of human postures. Walking, running, bending, rotating, balancing, and complex transitions that look effortless. This is what Xpeng is striving for in the mass-produced generation. This motion is too smooth. If this is Gen 2, just imagine what Gen 3 is going to look like. Comment below. What do you think Gen 3 will even be capable of? But here's the crazy part. Xpeng isn't just talking about future plans. Mass production is targeted for late 2026. That's not some vague timeline. That's an aggressive, specific commitment. And he's explained exactly why Xpeng believes this timeline is achievable. Xpeng isn't a small startup trying to figure out manufacturing from scratch. The company has EV factories already capable of building complex machines at scale. Xpeng has supply chain systems designed for high volume electronics, robotics engineering talent, and deep software infrastructure from self-driving systems. These advantages allow Xpeng to industrialize robots much faster than companies without manufacturing experience. And get this, Xpeng is already running rail iron robots in its Guangzhou factory. These robots are performing repetitive tasks and carrying items right now. This isn't conceptual footage. This is real deployment, giving the company early performance data to refine joints, hands, motors, and durability. When Xpeng says mass production 2026, the company is speaking from a position of actual manufacturing strength. Now let's talk about the price, because this is where things get absolutely wild. At the Guangzhou Auto Show, Xpeng officially announced Iron's launch price, $150,000. That's significantly lower than many top-tier humanoid robots, which often exceed $200,000 to $300,000. Xpeng undercut the market decisively. But wait, because it gets even more insane. Once Xpeng begins full mass production in late 2026, he stated the price could fall to around $45,000. A $45,000 humanoid robot transforms the entire industry. It brings robots out of exclusive industrial settings and closer to mainstream commercial use. This pricing forces competitors to rethink their strategies immediately. It positions iron as a serious alternative to high-cost robots, and it gives Xpeng a clear path to scaling robots into both industry and households long-term. $45,000 for a humanoid. At this price, every competitor just woke up sweating. But here's where the story comes full circle. When Xpeng first revealed iron at the Guangzhou Auto Show and AI Day, the robot's movement was so natural that people questioned whether it was even real. Conspiracy theories spread quickly across China's tech networks. Some people claimed Xpeng had put a human inside a costume. The movement looked too biological, too smooth, too perfect. So Xpeng responded with one of the boldest moves in robotics history. The company took iron apart, live on stage. Engineers removed parts of iron's outer armor in front of journalists, exposing the steel frame, motors, wiring, cooling systems, sensors, and the 3D, printed bionic muscle layer responsible for its lifelike gait. The robot even moved with parts of its body exposed, showing the fully mechanical system in action. This moment silenced every conspiracy theory instantly. The world saw iron as it truly is, a genuine humanoid robot with advanced engineering, not a stunt or performance trick. Xpeng later released footage of iron walking with the shell removed, making it crystal clear that the smooth gait came from real biomechanics, not costume theatric. He Xiaoping earned trust by exposing iron's internal hardware and laying out its purpose mechanics, learning system, and pricing. Xpeng didn't showcase a robot. They revealed a full roadmap for mainstream humanoids. Transparent engineering over hype, positioning Iron as a serious co-worker and one of 2020 SIXS defining robots.